Hello everyone and welcome Hello. to another camping vlog. Uh, unfortunately this isn't the camping vlog it's meant to be uh, because we, uh, I managed to delete part three of the last trip so. Which was really unfortunate because yeah. that was an exceptional campsite. Yeah what was it? Um, um, Oak View? Yeah was we will endeavour to try and find it and um, talk about it because it was a brilliant site yeah. and we've actually just been on another brilliant site we have so yeah. we, we went from kent we went back home dropped bob off <laughs> went back to sussex to stay with your parents uh, all part of ferrying little miss hubner mm -hmm. around to get her exam results uh, then we went back to wales grabbed bob and uh, came over to uh, where we are now we're uh, near oxford at uh, uh, what is it green hill we are leisure at green park. hill leisure park uh, we're actually near oh gosh what's it called Bletchingdon in Oxfordshire. Yeah, because um, we went to Bicester Heritage, hence the look, hence yeah, the lack we of beard. Radwood. All part of my Radwood yeah. attire. So if you haven't seen the report from that show on the main channel, go and check that out. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, it was lovely. And it's been a lovely weekend here at Greenhill Leisure Park. It really has. So uh, Greenhill Leisure Park is it's a large park, it's 400 plus acres. Not um, all of it is campsite. No, not all of it is campsite. But again, it's really nicely done because there's probably about 30 pitches within a, an area. It's all hedged off. Um, yeah, and then very you've clear got pitch the other areas. The pitch sighting are beautifully, probably the best pitch markings we've seen. Yeah, yeah. Cause, Maybe because it, it, it's tree lined. So yeah, yeah you've got in, a hedge in the bit to the we back, were in. And then you've got trees that mark either side of your pitch. Yeah. And they're not small, so you're not going to squash them or anything very clearly defined pitches nice big pitches yeah we had loads of space yeah loads of space yeah we, uh, did, we did see someone struggling and complaining about lack of space <laughs> but he'd put his caravan kind of in the middle, in the middle of his pitch yeah, so yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, mind the squirrel i'm minding the squirrel oh, it's a baby squirrel okay uh electric hook baby squirrel electric hookups lots of water points uh there were three toilet blocks oh and the showers the yeah, showers. Really, really good showers, not yeah. push button. No, not push button. What a joy. They had waterfall heads, so the nice big heads, and adjustable temperature as well. Yeah. We have not seen that for a very long time, guys. So that was very good. That my was my good only thing. minor grumble in the toilet block nearest to where we were, there were only two sinks. <laughs> there were three sit down toilets, three urinals, and two sinks. So. And then he got more miffed when he heard the ladies had more sinks. Yeah, but then I went up to the top shower block, and that would be my tip. Go to the top shower block if you stay here, because no one can be bothered to walk up there. And uh, there's loads of space, and six sinks. Six sinks. Six sinks. He's very excited by this. Yeah. Uh, they also have a laundry room, which had, I think it was three pounds for a wash, which is very reasonable. So they had washing machine, dryer, and they also had, um, what my mum would call a whirly gig, a rotary, yeah, rotary dryer, dryer outside. Yeah, if you prefer uh, the natural approach. Dog parking outside the toilet, good yeah. washing up. Lots of dog walking areas. Yeah. Uh, well, I wish, we'll have to come back because we haven't properly investigated this. So there was a dog walk. Well, no, we walk. haven't been on the site very much, no, have we? No, there's a happens. dog walk that leads to uh, the canal towpath. So you can walk along the canal towpath. They've also got an off-lead dog area mm -hmm. as well. Not that we Diego. trust Diego. We missed, we missed out on this. Oh, will you um, trust him off the lead? If it was really com like fenced, then yes. Mm. Otherwise, no. <laughs> um, but yeah, so lots of consideration for the dogs. They've also got a play park for the children. Um, as well as that, they've got an area where you can fly kites and play ball games. Oh. Yeah, yeah. And a fishing lake as well. Yeah. Um, obviously at a supplementary cost for the fishing because I think it's course fishing, so um, understandably. Uh, oh, there's a pit rip. There's a picnic area by the river. There oh, is. Oh, we're coming yeah, back. Yeah, there is all sorts. We're coming back. This is a lovely, lovely yeah. site. Really, really lovely. They've just thought about everything. Oh, it's got a bar. It's yeah. got a bar. We didn't go to the bar. Sad times. Uh, in terms of pricing, I think it was around the sort of standard, somewhere between 35, 40 pound a night. Mm -hmm. I'm struggling to recall the exact figure. Yeah. And naturally, yeah. we had electric hookup. Yeah, yeah. Um, the bar is also serves um, breakfast in the morning and burgers in the evening. We never uh, made seemed, use of that. Seemed to have a good crowd there. Yeah. So, what a brilliant site. Yeah, it's really been good. Really, really good. Really we'll good. We'll happily come back to that one. And lots of aeroplanes. So, that's over. Green Hill Leisure Park. Yep. And you're quite close. We've got this village of 20 mile an hour all the way through it. But then you're onto a 50 mile an hour road, short stretch. And then you're onto the A34, which is a really good travel link. Yeah. Uh, whether you're going to Oxford, London, uh, Buckinghamshire. 
So, uh, yeah, a handy location. Yeah, I mean... But I, nicely distant from everything, so yeah. it's quite peaceful. It's very peaceful. Um, there was a little bit of road noise, but absolutely minimal. Yeah. Minimal, minimal. Um, mild, mild air noise. Air noise? Of, on the aeroplane. There's an airport quite close, but See, only little planes. We're smiling because we love aeroplanes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we cheerfully listen to aeroplanes all day. <laughs> but no, it was a fantastic site. And yeah, a good base for Oxford if you've not been to Oxford. So much to see there, Pitts River, National History, Natural History Museum, Botanic Gardens, Universities, University yeah, Parks, yeah. Port Meadow, etc, etc. Um, yeah, good place to base yourself. So yeah, oh and, oh my gosh, we didn't mention, the gentleman took us to our pitch. Oh yes. The gentleman took us to our pitch. And which, then, which I think is a great idea, because for a start he can make sure your pitch is clear, mm -hmm. and it wasn't, because Mr. Uh, I can't fit on my pitch had put part his car in our pitch and was swiftly told to move it. So you've got enforcement of the rules mm -hmm. by having staff driving around. It also... But it, it just gives you clear guidance where to put everything so how, it's all very clear. And how clear. to yeah, cite yeah. yourself. Yeah. Because, um, you know, you go to some and you get yeah, a little so Some are very dismissive, but they're into reception, there's your welcome pack, off you go, follow this yeah, bloke. Yeah, yeah. Could not be easier. And he was great, he was very friendly. He owns a Jack Russell, so, oh, yeah. you know, got to be a good person. Um, and yeah, it, it took out that awkwardness because we have arrived on sites and there has been an issue with our pitch. Like, for example, that tent that was literally oh, half yeah, over yeah. our pitch. Um, and you have to kind of sneak away and they know that you went and told or you went and snitched. Yeah. But um, he dealt with that issue very calmly and um, just it was dealt with in a second and we could pitch nicely. So that, that was great. That was a great addition. Um, but yeah, it's been an absolutely brilliant park. Thank and this is it, we are on the A34 now, so that's how close you are to this major arterial route. Yes, about Not very far minutes. at all. Yeah. Sorry for the noise, it's quite warm this morning. We don't, no, we have, don't air have air conditioning. conditioning. No. <laughs> Ooh. That's a big coach. <laughs> I'm enjoying the shade. Yeah. Nice VDL there. Come across Mr. VDL. So yeah, thank you very much for watching this camping vlog from Oxfordshire. Mm -hmm. Sorry we missed the Kent one. Uh, we will find it. No, I think it's gone. We've lost it. All yeah, oh, I, I had to clear shame. data off the phone because uh, I couldn't actually render a video. I had no space left. I filled it up already okay. and uh, I had a panic delete. We might do a little vloggy piece about that. We should site, do. It's that was so a lovely worth site. it. Yeah. It was so lovely. Such a good place to be. Yeah. Crikey. But otherwise, yeah, thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you in a future Hub Notes vlog. Bye! Bye. I always get thrown by the no-pudune. It's weird, isn't it? Bye!